How's it going, everyone? Mark Zerman standing by with Michael Moore for Action Esports, liberal documentarian. How's it going? Thank you. Uh, it's going great. Always love getting mistaken for the other Michael Moore. It's my favorite. Yeah, so he's actually the P1 uh, general manager or owner? Uh, Co-owner slash co-president, you know. Yeah. One of those titles. Uh, <laughs> so as, you know, someone who's making a lot of important decisions for P1, how's it been that just in your second split with Yor, you made the third, fourth place match? Uh, and you were able to kind of really change your team's story. Because even though you had that nice bounce back at the end of summer last year, I don't think people were saying, oh, yeah, P1's going to be the third best team in the league. Yeah, super exciting. I mean, the match also is super uh, exciting or stressful, mostly stressful for me. <laughs> uh, but we pulled it out. I was super, uh, super happy with uh, our guys and our team. They are uh, able to, uh, you know, keep things together through this split, even though we had to make a lot of changes mid-split. Uh, you know, everyone kept working super hard and uh, and stayed focused, so we were able to uh, stay at third place, which I think is uh, as good as we could have hoped from playing in relegation last last split. So, yeah, yeah, definitely a huge improvement. A lot of that credited to the the roster moves that you guys made, picking up Arrow and Ryu, and some owners have been critical of just grabbing imports, but obviously it worked out for you. What do you think you guys did differently, or, or why did it work out so well for P1? Uh, yeah, I think uh, we spent a lot of time in Korea during the off season, uh, four weeks, four weeks there. Um, you know, talked to a lot of players, tried a lot of players, uh, and I think that we were really intentional about getting players who spoke good English already. Uh, Ryu, who um, who has played in Europe before, so we know he uh, works well. You know, in a Western team, uh, has, he's been successful outside of Korea, so uh, that we felt pretty good about picking him up. And Arrow, just when we met him and talked to him, uh, like he, he just had such a great personality and uh, spoke good English. So, and when we tried him out, it just seemed like a really good fit. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I do know where people are coming from about uh, imports being risky, and sometimes they don't work out. I mean, I know there are even some temp some teams who didn't like try out Koreans before they signed them. Like, I definitely think that can be pretty dangerous. So, yeah. All right, so then kind of transitioning more towards the, the rest of the season, uh, you and your dad are pretty famous. If you've ever been to the LCS, you would have seen them, specifically your dad, going yeah. crazy. So, uh, crazy. yeah, so talk <laughs> to me a little bit about that because uh, he used to be a movie executive, right? Yeah. And so, so what's that been like? Yeah, he, he used to work for Paramount. Uh, now he's, we're doing this full time. Uh, I used to be in uh, marketing for movies also, so we both kind of were in movies. Now we've moved into this. Um, I've been... A big fan of esports for a long time. My dad's been a, a big fan of traditional sports for a long time. So you know that excitement is pretty similar between traditional sports and esports. So even though he's not a gamer at all, like that's always been you know my passion. But uh, he's super into it now and super excited at the matches. Always screaming and <laughs> yeah. yeah, he sticks out pretty much. If you ever go to the LCS, you'll see. Two guys in P1 hoodies and like one's going crazy yeah. and one is freaking. I'm, I'm sitting there like stressing out silently, like yeah. <laughs> um, so talk to me a little bit more about like P1 as an org because I think uh, you guys sometimes fly a little bit under the radar in terms of people hyping up the org as a whole. But from everything that we've heard about you guys, it's been mostly done well. So is this something that you know having experience in the outside world that you were able to bring into P1 or, or how does how did you guys really find like how you wanted to operate as a team? Yeah, I think there are a couple facets of that. One, we when we first like jumped into the LCS and we uh, didn't have any experience and we were jumping in super short like notice. Uh, we leaned a lot on Eric Ma, who's our, uh, our co-president, and uh, Charlie Lipsy, who is our coach. Then uh, he's still with the org. He's um, helping us like uh, on expanding the org and so that kind of thing. Uh, but we leaned on them because they had a lot of experience in esports, so they really helped us get through over that initial hump. And then um, it was just, I think, us being really intentional about uh, kind of, you know, observing what the teams who have been here a lot longer than us do, how uh, what's worked, what hasn't, and trying to implement those uh, philosophies into how we run things. So. Cool. So do you have anything you want to say to your fans now? A pretty successful season, I think most people would say. Do uh, you have anything you want to let everyone know? Because Phoenix won slowly rising popularity way back. There was just that one guy on Reddit, yeah. Phoenix won is number one, always hyping you guys up, and you started winning. And then now you guys you know, finished third. Yeah, uh, thank you to everyone who's supported us. Uh, either there are newer fans or the 
the the guys who stuck with us from the very beginning. Uh, yeah, couldn't be more grateful. Um, it's it's fun being the underdog, but I hope we can uh, continue to grow and uh, continue to establish ourselves in the LCS, and more people will uh, uh, cheer for us. That's that's fun too. Yeah. So, <laughs> hey, you have any big plans for now that you guys finished third? You got the rest a little bit of time yeah, off. Going to throw off. a big big party tonight? Oh, I don't even know. I haven't thought past today. <laughs> so, will I be invited? Oh, why'd you have to ask me? Like, Action camera. Esports here. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> so you had to say yes. <laughs> Anyways, thanks uh, for the interview, Michael. Uh, best of luck in the future. And if you guys want more coverage here at Vancouver, go to actionesports.com. Finger gun? Yeah. <laughs>